Um, next one's from uh, <coughs> Jed Frank Forther. It's Mike. Uh, he's on that podcast where he's the racist. Oh, the Ebony and yeah. Ivory yeah. where yeah, he got he's, uh, where dismissed Jed's the, for <laughs> Jed's the racist and uh and um and Mike Holder's the black guy and they like uh. They have a podcast. They've, they've yeah, actually... it's a podcast on racial harmony, which ended in fisticuffs. I love that podcast. <laughs> yeah. they've, they've tried to Next, release uh, the pilot episode, and they've actually recorded it five or six times and, and had to scrap each one because it got so heated. So Are you they're serious? Still, they're still Man, working they on the, it. Well, we want to see. We'll wait, why don't they release there. those? Yeah, know, leave those in there. That's what people want to hear. But, well, do, you, they said, you, well, do you want to make it less interesting before yeah, they right. release it? Yeah, let's make a nice version. People want to hear the... They want yeah. they want to make people think, uh, that, hey, you know, racial harmony can exist. Look at us getting along, and they just can't get along, so they keep failing at their mission. Well, that's well, good though. That, that shows that there's <laughs> actually the, 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 right. we can't get along. Yeah, right. <laughs> that's, that's, like what they're, pro- that's what they're proving. Like, we can't get along. They want to do a podcast showing that racial harmony can exist, and showing it can't exist. Okay, racial harmony can't exist. Do a podcast on that. It sounds more interesting. <laughs> so, could you imagine that doing a podcast saying racial harmony can't exist? Okay, what the politically correct people say, oh, you can't have it. So, no, this was supposed to be racial harmony can't exist, but they're recording the podcast failing. and they can't exist. So, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> that's tremendous. That's like the evidence. So, they're not trying to record a podcast saying there can't be racial harmony. They're trying to report yeah. a podcast saying there can be racial harmony and it's not working. Yeah, right. <laughs> they want to come together and get along that, and they keep insulting each other. They should actually release every episode they've recorded. Right. And then every this single be the pre- one. This should be the premise of the show. Can there be right. racial harmony? Right. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> These two. <laughs> um, all right. So in an episode of WCW's Most Wanted Treasures, Booker T is searching for the WCW television title that he beat Disco for. Rumor has it Jim Duggan sold it. They couldn't find it. Hey, Glenn, have any leads? Do you have a replica? Very best friend of the show, Jed Frankfurter. Um, <clears throat> they did that gimmick where Duggan was the janitor. <clears throat> And he he found the WCW uh, title in the trash can. Okay, and then I get it that uh, I think the deal was that Jim, Jim started defending the belt. Yeah, Scott Hall. Threw, <laughs> like, yeah, Scott you're Hall. right. So it was kind of it's ridiculous. <laughs> but let me tell you something. I, when when they put the janitor gimmick on on Duggan, I thought that was one of the Duggan. But bro, for some reason, Jim did the vignettes and everything, and he was still super over. Right. Like he came out and he would have his jacket, right. thing, and the people still were like, "Yeah, they, he I wasn't, think were, you know why? Because he wasn't boo boo face about the janitor gimmick. He was like, F- it, I'll do it.' And, yeah, right. And then he, and did, he wasn't it. happy right. doing it. Right. And he and I think the fans were cheering him because they were they didn't really want him in like, that remember, gimmick, and they were showing you know, they were showing they put, support. Yeah. Remember when they put uh, your boy in the dress, Vito? Yes. Yeah. And that, was said, w- that, that, and he, that was in WWE. Yeah, I know. And he was just like. I'm gonna own this bitch. Yeah, he you know? wore it. He, he just wore it everywhere. Made the best of it. Yeah, yeah. With yeah. the title, uh, Scott Hall threw it away, and then Duggan found it later in the trash. I think that right, was that was right. a, that was a Russo that move. Was a or whoever in that in that room came up with it. Yeah, because yeah, Russo was trying to do at that time. Remember, he was doing the thing with the hands. He was the hands guy. He was trying to do Dr. curb enthusiasm style booking where everything spun back around like a comedic style. You know, so whatever. Right. Yeah. Next is some uh, Jared Aviat again. All right. Oh, and he, I'm sorry, Sub- he did defend it, Disco, what you said before. He took the belt and just decided to defend it on, so, on Saturday night. Right. Yeah, where yeah. Jimmy Hart was booking. Yeah. 